The title of the video, Sophie, doesn't really tell you what country it's from, but the chat told me what country it's from. And honestly, and that's Greece. You ever take Greece to be like, honestly? No. You guys think Greece? Like, I don't uh, know. Uh, no. Greece, I wouldn't take to be like the craziest place in the world, but they might be dedicated to the game. They might be really out here doing this thing. They might, their league might be going crazy on the low. That's, it has that's to surprising be. coming from, I don't know. Greek, right? I, I know I know a lot of Greek people. They're like very so. tourist look. They're honestly very similar to us. Yeah. They are. Yeah. They are. So like Syrians can, and like yeah. Arabs and Greek are very similar yeah. with like food culture and all that. And honestly, Even our religion, our religion or yeah. Greek Orthodox. Yeah, I'm not we're sure. I'm not Greek sure what the di difference is with Greek and normal. Um, I think we're like the original ones. Like, so do I have like relations to this video? Like, am I one of these guys out here going crazy? Because yeah. I could get crazy, guys. I could get real crazy. Like honestly, I feel like I fit right in one of these ultras, but like it might be a little Greek too crazy. Greek football for some. is in a state of disarray. Alleged corruption ban on the majority of away fans, and high average ticket prices. And yet, despite these factors, the Greek ultra scene is frightening. See, Ozaka said Greece, Sweden, Poland, and Argentina are some of the most ultras. I could see all of them except Greece, but we're going to see Greece. That's what I'm really surprised for. ...and spectacular. Oh, 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 I've done a video like this. Is this Greece League? The most important ultras are based in Athens and Thessaloniki who both have strong local clubs. The biggest rivalries is the derby Everyone of the eternal enemies the between time. Olympiakos versus Panathinaikos oh my and God. Aris versus Pauk. What, what is all this? Someone explain me, what, what is all this stuff going on? Aris versus Pauk. It's like the, the lights that like produce the uh, color. Sure. All right, I mean, I didn't know this was greasy. I thought this was some Just Russian. Just look right there. Do you that? think there's fans behind that? Yeah, honestly, I feel like nobody could literally be in this. I'm not gonna lie, this this looks very toxic. But no, I I we reacted. There's a TikTok I did. I might upload it in the video. Um, it was a TikTok of these, and I'm, I'm finding out it's a Grease League. They put up these really cool posters and shit, and they raised them. It's actually really fire. I did not know that's a Grease League. Now I'm, they're getting my respect a lot. This looks very cool. It's almost like the fans are part of the fight. Oh my god! Look at that! Like what the freak? First, it's Olympiakos, unquestionably the strongest club having won five consecutive Super League titles. The ultras here go by the name of Gate 7, in reference to the area where they stand. Gate 7 have a fans alliance with the Delia from Red Star Belgrade. That's they have an alliance, bro? This is it! Yes, I was in the TikTok, bro! They have sick ass flags they raise in this league. Honestly, one of the coolest things they could do. That's the Muhammad Ali, I think, with the, with the team logo on. It's so cool, man. Next, and the hated rival of Olympiakos, it's Gate 13 from Parathenaikos. Gate 13 are currently in conflict with the Greek government and the sports minister, who closed the gate as a result of the riots that happened in the last derby match against Olympiakos. from Athens. <laughs> like a lot of Greek cultures, Gate 13 offer fanatical support to almost every sport, from football and basketball to volleyball and water polo. What the hell? That is sick, bro. I'm talking on also cue. Like, look at this man's clap, bro. They all clap on cue. They've done this shit their also whole life. in the Greek capital is Aik Athens and their supporter group known as Original 21. This is freaking dope. I would love to be in one of these environments. not going to lie. I don't know, but it could be there. There's so many people, man. Like, it's crazy. Original 21 as a group are politically left-wing and recently showed banners to support refugees. Honestly, I'm gonna guys, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna see. I think now no no one in my chat has ever been in an environment like this. I haven't either. I'm gonna be honest, guys. I'm, I'm I don't think anyone's been in this type of environment with football, bro. This shit looks cr like this shit look crazy. If anyone you have in the comments on YouTube or in the stream, comment down below. But I'm gonna be honest, I really don't think anyone's done it. Yeah, y'all should have said he has. He away from here and I'll say I believe and him. Oh my god, what the yes, freak is this, bro? Yeah, what is this? That looks like a bunch of ghosts. Cool. Bunch of ghosts. What kind of stadium is this? 
They all agreed to her block Toomba Stadium the and the atmosphere created by the Pauk fans was feared in the 80s and 90s by all Athenian clubs. Games against Olympiakos are Someone considered the biggest non-local yeah. derby in Greece. But the big derby for Pauk is against Aris, where bragging rights for the city are on offer. This is like POV, bro. She can find. Tell me you don't want to be there right now. Across the town I'm are Addis, and their supporters group named Super so. Three. Not being one of them. Oh yeah. That's mad. Cool. Was out twin people or something? What is that? It's like the team are space. currently playing in the third division, but still command a good following. I could also end it. Aris hold the record for the biggest away support with more than 25,000 fans following the club in Athens for the Greek Cup final in 2010 against Panathinaikos. Y'all are crazy. Yeah, cool. I love it though. I also love in Thessaloniki it. are Heraklis and their supporter group Gate 10. Heraklis are the only I can't even say because I can't even understand this. I can't even understand this world. Like, I feel like you have to be there to get it. It looks cool as hell. The Rackleys hold a record like, attendance. It dangerous. Like, look at, they got sparks flying. They got the metal with the, you they know what I'm talking about? They really don't. Like, the metal the with the, the you put it in a, you know? The little fireworks. Fans no, no, that's not what that is at all. In 1971. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, born in Greece, not America, right, buddy? <laughs> These guys are crazy, bro. I kind of need to be there, man. Everything's too soft. Yo, the police can't stop. I like them. that. No way. They're gonna Bro, they soft. said the one, what was it? They were calling sections of the country, uh, like, like, gate or whatever, great seven. They had, like, beef with the government. Like, uh, <laughs> That's funny. she went to Stockholm Dirty, bro. That, that was insane, man. I'm not going to lie, dude. These Greece fans really be doing it differently than Greek Gate 13 is what I was saying. But damn, guys, we're going to have to spin the wheel again because that shit was a great video, honestly. Thank you for whoever suggested that. That was actually very cool. I like it.